Go ahead, ask questions. After they get focused. Howard, what's been the, I guess, the progress of the defense so far through the first week of camp? Uh, progress of defense. Uh, Coach Washington has pushed uh, just know your technique and know your job more than anything else. You know, a defense, like, even, I mean, don't, like, we have playmakers all over the field. Jason, Justin, Riley, Foskey. Um, sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's pushing everybody to make sure that we know our job. So a defense that knows our jobs, that every gap is full, every uh, run is covered, like nobody's going to score on us, nobody's going to get anything. If you know that, then we'll know everything. And then have you been cross-training at one and three throughout this camp? Uh, yeah, uh, he switched me, me and Jacob, repeatedly. Uh, I think just my theory is that he wants us to know both by heart. Well, he's pushing us to know both by heart. But for specific games, like it could be a triple option or like a center heavy thing or a ta two tackle heavy ones. So it just depends on who we're playing, I guess. And then last one for me, Chris Smith, how is he kind of just adjusted within the room and how have you guys kind of brought him along? Um, well, just first and foremost, he's probably one of the strongest human beings I've ever seen. I think he's probably like 37 and 225. Like, yeah, he's really strong. So, I mean, he fit, he fit right in. Um, yeah, everybody accepts him with open arms. Like he's he's a beast. You know, he comes with the ball. Nobody can move him on double team. I don't think I've seen him once like get moved. Um, he's a great fit for our defense. Nose guard. Like really able to like just stick it to everybody. Howard, can you talk about the bringing Coach Washington in, the difference that he's made, and what's it been like in the film room as well, and preparing you off? Of um, Coach Wash. Uh, again, is really focused on just technique and doing our job. Essentially the closest thing to perfection we can get, essentially. Like coming off the ball, knowing where our gap is, knowing how to use our hands, knowing where to step, knowing who's coming towards us, like watching where the offense is lined up, everything. He wants us to be able to be able to spot that. He also tests us on like what the linebackers do. Like he wants us to know the entire defense. All of it. So I mean, that's like NFL caliber, that's what he wants us to do. Um, the film room, like, is just, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot. So he wants us to get as much time in as possible. After practice, hit the bags. Uh, before practice, like, run more than anybody else. Like, he wants the D-line to lead the group on the team. Where have you experienced the growth in your position? Um, in my position, like me, or just the group? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, me personally, I was just saying upstairs that um, I was able to, my vision of the offensive line has greatly improved. Um, my whole thing was just trying to figure out like what they're doing at all times, but for some reason, I don't know why, it just clicked, and I just started looking at the offensive line, like where their head is, like where they're leaning, how far their splits is, like are the weight to their knuckles, like I'm able to... With the exception of J-Pat, sometimes uh, I'm able to tell essentially what everybody's doing at all times. You know, a veteran old line, uh, new new old line coach in here at East Sand. What differences have you seen from the guys on the other side of the ball through this camp compared to last year? Uh, by far aggressive. By far. Um, I think. I want to say this. I think when Kelly was here, uh, or whoever was in charge of the offense last last year, they didn't really, I mean, they came off the ball like really hard, like they had a really good offensive line, but in the spring, they kind of have, they're kind of back a little bit, so they have a running start off the ball. And it's a little bit harder when offensive linemen that are 320 have a running start and are trying to double team you, and one's on the line, and then they hit you. So it's, like I, again, figured that out really quickly, so I had to, every on defense had to really quickly adjust to that. But they're by far more aggressive, by far, uh, their jobs, like they know everything about their jobs. They're not jumping off sides. Like they know their, they know their stuff. And how much of a challenge has that given you to find ways to compete with them daily and uh, kind of the emphasis that uh, they may be one of the position groups you see all year compared to some of the other teams you see on, on the opposing sideline? I mean, if you play with the best, you play like the best. If our offensive line is number one, or 
top three, top two, just the top offensive line in the nation, and you're playing against anybody else, anybody else is not what you're playing against. It. So naturally, you're gonna do better. So I mean, if I mean that's what they are. Like they're the top offensive line. I don't know what else to say. Like the way they caught the ball, the way they know their jobs, like the way they're locked in constantly, shoving after the play a little bit to get after you. Like they know their stuff. And I'm really excited for the season to see what they do. But again, you play with the best, you play like the best. And uh, jumping off of that, if you're talking about playing with the best, obviously a very talented defensive player as well. How do they all push you to be your best? Um, I mean, like I said, like if they're coming off the ball full speed, like doing their best, like you have to respond. Oh no, I'm sorry, I meant like the defensive line. Oh, like, sorry. Well, I mean, yeah, like if they're coming off the ball doing their best, like you have to respond being your best at all times. All right? If you don't, then you're gonna get shoved off the ball. That's how it is. That's what any team is. So, I mean, good competition plays good competition. Like by them pushing their hardest, we are we have to respond with our hardest. And that's just like the drama. And with uh, a lot of veteran leadership in the defensive line room, a lot of upperclassmen, and things like that, are there a couple of voices that have risen to the top as far as leadership goes, or is it more of a group? Um, I mean, obviously, J Pat, J Pat leads, J Pat and Josh Lug lead everything on uh, Zeke, too. Um, they're the first everything. The offensive line is one group, they do everything together. I mean, Go to lunch, go to meetings, like go to their meeting. Like, anything they do, they do together they do on and off the field. So they kind of pushing the whole like group thing that they do everything together on and off the field. And then for you guys as well, that's more what I was getting at. As far as the defensive line, oh. see, this is I mean, uh, Coach Watch actually seeing that he wants to, he's pushing us to do the same thing. So coming to practice at the same time, going to meetings at the same time. Um, doing things outside the field at the same time, like going and hanging out with each other all the time. He wants it to be an extremely tight-knit group at all times. All right. Thank you.